What's your favorite scary movie? Everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we got a big ol' update on Jeepers Creepers Reborn. I know I've been talking about this movie a lot, but this is a real big ol' update now. Finally, something crazy to go off of here. Now, before I do that, I'm gonna need y'all to like this video, subscribe, you know, you know all that. If you've been watching all these videos, you hear me say that all the time, but getting past that. Uh, the biggest thing that I want to talk about today is actor Peter Brook recently had an interview that was posted on the Jeepers Creepers, like all their pages across YouTube, Instagram, blah, 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 where he talks about his character, Shuriken Stew. Now, it's kind of <laughs> silly name. Uh, <laughs> first of all, sure, a guy that calls himself Shuriken Stew has got to be a little crazy and zany. But uh, actor Peter Brook describes his character as a proficient hunter. And to my guess, I would, and he's also called Shuriken Stew because he collects the Creepers shurikens, you know, like the ones in part two where he's throwing at the bus and the tires explode and they're stuck on the side of the road. Those shurikens. So he's collecting them. He's describes himself as like this proficient hunter. And I think that he wants to hunt down the Creeper because he also has a line in there where he says he capitalizes off of the legend. That's verbatim of something he said in this interview, which is why I'm uh, expecting this character to be like a merchant during the Hor Horror Hound Festival where Chase and Lane go to. That's our main character characters and my guess is that's where they meet him and they like they meet him there they're like looking at all his uh his goods at his store and they're like where did you get like how did you make these these look so real and it's like they are real he's like a real creepy dude maybe he's like super um he's just super passionate about taking down the creeper that's something that like his his life goal is to to do that kind of like abraham to the whale quince to the shark um craven the hunter to spider-man like <laughs> that's a that's a weird draw from comic books but you get the point i think that's essentially what they're setting up this character to be is to be like the hunter of the creeper which is really cool that's a really intriguing uh type of character that if written well is can be executed uh in a very insane and fun way i hope he's a little zany and like a little like crazed about wanting to take down the creeper that's typically my favorite way like quint for example quint is kind of crazy in jaws he is like uh he's adamant about trying to take down the shark and he has that whole like uh, monologue about how he was attacked by sharks and his whole battalion and um when he was at war and all that which is one of the best uh, little soliloquies monologues whatever of all time in my opinion that that performance is amazing would love to see something along those lines in the Jeepers Creepers franchise. Way to do something different, you know, with a different set of characters. All about that. I think that's also where Chase and Lane are going to meet this character. Maybe they're, like, we saw that shot earlier from the newsletter where it was Chase and Lane. Chase is getting his wristband for Beetlejuice. He's all excited. Lane does not give a single shit about being at this festival. You can tell from her facial expression, and I find that very funny. Maybe they're walking, maybe in the same scene even, they're walking down, like, these, like, little, going through all these shops and looking for things to by Chase is a huge horror movie fan and he comes across this shop where it's uh shuriken stew and he's all crazy and stuff and he's like oh sweet little shurikens I want to buy one of these and maybe they buy one and then later later in the film when everyone's getting attacked by the creeper they team up with this guy to take the to take the monster down that would be a really cool little turn of events because we do end up seeing them later on all together in that creepy house during that very 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 short teaser trailer we got a little ways back um so that's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm excited to see this character in action. Uh, I think that's a really good addition to the lore. I remember in the second film, something I really liked was the Taggarts trying to take down the Creeper because he abducted and killed the the little boy, the little, little Taggart boy in, uh, in that film, which sucks. And I, I feel bad for those characters. But of course, they kind of take him down. But honestly, I think both the Taggarts are, the living ones are, are going to die at the beginning of this film. I, I see that happening and it's going to be sad. I don't know if they're like same actors and actresses are going to be in the film. Not 100% sure on that. I would love to see them come back. It's kind of a mystery as of right now. Although we did get a set photo a little while ago where we saw the, um, the hole puncher Po the post hole digger gun or whatever that they use in the second film on set in a what looks like a barn so like yeah that's where the film has to start come on like <laughs> there's, that's a massive cliffhanger that I've been waiting to see a resolution to for a long time now so hopefully we can see that scene happen where the creeper just breaks out and just and is alive again that would be sick um one more thing I want to talk about which isn't like huge news or anything but something I just want to talk about because it's wow it's uh it's a little it's kind of bad news 
Um, with this new film, obviously we're all kind of like worried about it, but the biggest thing is when is this film coming out? We don't have a release date. We know it's coming out in 2022. It was recently announced that in Germany, the film would come out in February, but now it, that's been, that date has been pushed to sometime in April. So I, it, it's just, it, it's pointless at, at this point to speculate when this film is going to come out worldwide. I, it, it really is. Like I keep saying that it's like, oh, it was going to come out last November. Oh, it, it's going to come out early next year. It's going to come out in February. Now it's maybe going to come out in April. You know what? It's probably going to come out in December. I'm just going to say it now. <laughs> let's, let's just start speculating all the way farther into the future because then we'll, <laughs> we won't be as disappointed when it comes out in like probably like June or July on VOD. So... <laughs> <laughs> I try to stay optimistic about this stuff, but come on, guys. What's going on with this release date? Give us give us something, you know? Hopefully, we get a trailer soon with a release date. For the love of the horror gods, <laughs> give us a release date for this film. What do you guys think, though? Between the crazy designs we've been seeing for the Creeper, all this behind-the-scenes stuff, and this new character of Shuriken Stew, what do you guys think of all these characters? Things about uh, Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Are you excited for the film? Are you kind of worried like I am? Leave me a comment about it down below. Let's talk some Jeepers Creepers. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my new Jeepers Creepers Reborn update. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You know all that. Uh, and also, if you can support me on Patreon, literally just a dollar a month goes a long way and helps support this page. And just to be transparent with you, it helps like pay the bills. And honestly, the majority of the money I get from Patreon typically goes back into the channel. I'm actually putting out a massive locations video for the original Scream and some of the sequels. If, uh, if I'm able to, if I can raise the funds for that, that would be sick. I am also making a movie right now, so like... Money's tight. <laughs> so your support on Patreon means a lot and keeps this channel thriving. So if you can check that out, the link for that will be in the description below. Thank you all again for watching. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.